Hey, what's up, y'all? My name is Martin. I'm a rising junior at Tufts studying mechanical engineering, and this summer I'm in France. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be doing a short recap of my time here in Tawar, France, what I did here, and a lot of feelings um, after doing this program. So Tufts and Talwar is a six weeks summer study abroad program where students get to choose two classes out of the 13 or so offered by the program. These 13 classes are offered through various departments from Tufts, um, ranging from chemical engineering to econ to English, and of course, uh, the French department. For me personally, the two classes that I took were Flowers of the Alps. Uh, it's a bio course where we got to go into the Alps uh, find a bunch of different flowers, memorize their names, and see what makes them similar to one another. The other course that I took was the econ course. And in this course, what we did is we learned about social safety nets both in the U.S. and France. And we did this so we could learn uh, the differences uh, between both countries and to see what works and what doesn't work from an economics perspective. While doing Tufts and Tawar, students stay in towns surrounding Tawar, or occasionally Tawar itself. These families volunteer to be host families. Um, they range from families who only want their students to speak French because they only speak French uh, to families that only speak English or families that know both Fran French and English and want to practice uh, their English with the students in in which, and then that allows the student to practice their French with their family. Just like back on campus, students sometimes live with roommates and without roommates. Uh, for me personally, I lived with Joelle, a friend of mine that um, I learned was also doing Tufts and Talwar, and we asked to be roommates. And we lived in a family that only spoke English. Uh, and for me, that was great because I came to France not knowing any French. Uh, but it was kind of sad for Joelle because Joelle learned some French when he was growing up, so he wanted to practice that, uh, but didn't get the opportunity. And our living situation was pretty cool. Like, I, th I think I've mentioned this in an earlier vlog, but we had a loft and it was separate from the actual host family's house. So we had our own space where we could do work till midnight and do other things, just hang out, all without bothering the family. Our host family did a really great job of trying to include us into their daily lifestyle. Uh, we really felt like we were part of their family. It was really fun to get to know the two uh, host siblings that we got to live with. The third one came and visited, and it was really nice to get to know him too. Um, our host parents even included us in their nightly dinners every day, um, and even to some of their parties that even they hosted or they went out to, so we could get the chance to explore it some more. It was also really cool to ch see the change in lifestyle, because um, it's very different from everyday life at school where I personally stayed in either the machine shop or labs doing problem sets and projects to really late at night. So it was really cool just to see how an active lifestyle uh, a lot of people in Talwar and I guess for uh, France, especially those people who lived near the Alps, had. And that's kind of why I'm out here today. If you haven't noticed already, I'm in the woods and that was kind of inspired by um, the different change of lifestyle that I experienced in France and uh, kind of just wanted to throw homage to that lifestyle and change up the background. But yeah, um, my lifestyle in France was very different. Um, I went hiking quite often, got to play some, some volleyball on the beach, got to learn how to swim, that was pretty cool, and I even got to play some soccer, which was Something that I really wanted to do in school, but never had the time. Uh, but I did have the time in France and spent quite a few nights um, at, at the local soccer field, just uh, kicking the ball around. Besides our host family, another great impact on my time in France were my friends. And I gotta say, some of the people that I met have become some of my closest friends. Some people I already knew before coming to France and they were already my close friends. And other people I met here in Tawar. Um, and we just got really close. Uh, being able to bond over the fact that we're in a brand new country, learning a brand new culture, some of us even learning a brand new language, 
just brings us very close to each other. And it was also great to have all these close friends in Tawar and in France because together we made some great memories, uh, whether it was exploring Annecy at night, um, going down to the beach after classes, or even exploring Paris together. Um, I really enjoyed my time in France and it was through the help of my uh, through the help of my friends. Not only did I make some great memories while in France, made a bunch of new friends, and just went out exploring a new environment. I think not only did I find very cool places, but I think I found uh, a little bit more of myself uh, through an experience that I'm I don't get to uh, do every day. Before I was. You know, I really thought that, you know, you're either white, Latino, Asian, or any of the other uh, types of people that are listed in the forms that you fill out online or on papers. And instead of thinking that I'm, you know, only white, I learned to, to think that I'm Polish. I am who I am. My parents came from Poland and I was born here. And through their hard work, in my hard work, I got to go explore the world, something they only dreamed of doing. So for me personally, I think what I learned through this trip was that I should be proud of who I am and the fact that I come from a low income first generation family and be excited that I got to explore the world and be optimistic and see into and look into the future and see how many more chances and opportunity I have uh, because of my hard work and because of my background. If you ever get the opportunity to go travel, whether it's study abroad or just go visit relatives or you ever have the money and the privilege to go to a whole new different place, I strongly recommend it. Um, you just never know how much you'll learn about yourself by exploring a brand new world.